guys, welcome to another video. My name is Jeanette and I make faith-based videos to encourage you in your walk with Jesus. And today I have a very special guest with me here, my husband, Carlos. And we're gonna show you guys our proposal video that we did last summer. And um, after that, we're gonna have our reaction to it. So without further ado, let's get into it. you guys our proposal video but before we get into it I'm gonna let him set the scene all right so every year we do a, on the 4th of July we do a big river float with a, a group of our friends and so what you're gonna see here is us all gathering together for our annual group photo before the river float begins but I had a little surprise planned <laughs> unbeknownst to everyone <laughs> in the crowd except one of my best friends who helped me plan this whole yes. thing so Let's go ahead and watch the footage and we'll uh, do some commentary and then... Yeah, we're going to give you guys our reaction after we watch it. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Roll the footage! No! No! It's too dangerous! Okay, ready? Five, four, three... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, come on! Wait, hold on a second. Carlos completely surprised me. At this point, we'd been dating for four years. So I'll let you. What, what, what was your whole thing before? Uh, well, you know, so obviously I had bought in a ring and had keeping it hidden and, and secret. She had no idea. Um, and so I planned with my friend Adam, who's like my one of my friends from kindergarten, all the way through. <laughs> when did with, you guys come up with that plan? Uh, a few weeks before. Yeah, you know, I told him. I told him that. You know, I had this plan that I wanted to to propose to her at the annual float, and that uh, to see if he could help me, you know, film it or like, you know, make help me pull it off. So we came up with this plan to where he would he would set up the camera, bring all his camera equipment to set up the camera for the the annual group photo. But like I said, he was going to be recording, and then he's going <laughs> to do the the countdown. But it's a fake countdown for him to snap the picture, and he's so he's like, all right, I'm going to do countdown like five four three two and then i'm gonna be like oh wait hold up something's messed up you know like that's why to, everyone to pause goes, you know to pause the the moment so so that, that was your cue that was my cue to to stand up and, oh my and goodness. do the deed propose and uh, so he stands up and i'm like why are you standing up we're trying to take a picture like come back here yeah and he whips around Gets on my knee. And he gets on one knee. I had the, the ring in my pocket, my board shorts, and I was just sitting there, like, trying to, you know, trying to be cool, not like be nervous or anything on the surface, but I was, you know, shaking. His hand was like literally like shaking. Yeah, I was super nervous. But I wanted it to be something special, something out yes. of the ordinary. I wanted to have all our friends there because they're, you know, it's we have this Big group of friends of that. It's not just my friends, it's not just her friends, it's like our our, our community, our family of friends. To, so to have them all there was really special. Yeah. Um, to see their reactions too was was super special. And to make it a surprise and something like memorable for her was like my ultimate goal. So. And you knew like I would want it on video. Oh yeah, and I absolutely knew. Yeah. <laughs> I knew she wanted it, she would want it on video. Here. So yeah, having I Adam there, like he was, you know, such a huge blessing. And, yes, thank and, you, Adam. Uh, yeah, Shout out you, Adam. to the Pastanas. And the whole day leading up to it, I was just like, you know, just trying to trying to stay cool, trying to you know not give away anything. And she was completely clueless. Yeah. I had no idea. I had so no like, da, 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 idea. Da. 
you know, let's, let's take this picture, no let's take this idea. picture and go on the float, and little did she know. So, yeah. it worked out great, it was awesome. So, so my take of it was, we get to the float, and then we're like standing there to take our picture, and then Carlos gets up, and I was like, why is he getting up? I'm like, come back, we're trying to take our picture, and he turns around, and he like gets down on one knee, and this is my look of pure shock. I was like shocked, absolutely shocked. Yeah, she was speechless. He know. said I made this face. What was the face? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> you were like making fun of me, and you were like, <laughs> but like this, like the Home Alone face. <laughs> I was super shocked, um, and he had to like ask me again. He's like, yeah. "said I said, will you marry me?" And then she just did this shocked face. I was like, like ah. <laughs> and then just left me, s s s you know, left me sitting there like waiting, waiting, no answer, didn't answer? say yes or no. And I was like, uh, I could see she was excited and like literally speechless. So then I was like. Will you marry me? And then she's like, yes, yes. You know. <laughs> kind of took a second so then for I put me the to ring on and get inside my kiss. body again. <laughs> and everyone yes. went crazy. <laughs> Our friends being there was super special for me and him. We've known some of these people since kindergarten, so it's like family. Or you know, our friends are like our family. And I have to give Carlos a lot of credit. He picked out the perfect ring. He like remembered everything I ever said I wanted about a ring. Like a vintage ring with a peekaboo diamond and oh a heart. And he said he told me that he picked everything out. But one of the biggest things that like really made me happy was that he asked my parents, he asked my dad for my hand in marriage. Yeah. When was that? About a week before, you know, I, I went to her parents house and kind of out of the blue and they're like hey what's going on you know, and, you know <laughs> were they them, like what are you doing yeah, here <laughs> basically and they're like i don't normally just pop in on their yeah. house you know he's not that kind of son-in-law <laughs> so yeah so i asked you know i asked her dad if i had his permission to marry his daughter you know because i knew that was important to Jeanette. Yes. she wanted she wanted me to do that step and so so i did and uh it was super nervous but uh, yeah. but yeah, they he gave me his, his full blessing, and so did yeah. her mom. You know, they were both super excited. Did you like sit down and talk to both of them? I was in the kitchen. You know, they just uh, I I knocked on the door, and your mom answered, and I was like, "Hey, is, is Rick home?" And she's like, "Yeah, he's here." So it's like, what's I wonder going if on? my and mom I was knew. like, "Oh well, you know, I just I just wanted to ask you guys something." So we went in the kitchen, and uh, and then you know that's when I asked him. Jeanette and I have been together for a while, you know, I'm really serious about our relationship and I wanted to mm -hmm. ask your permission to marry her, you know? And I said, oh, that's amazing, that's, that's really good, yeah, of course you have our blessing, so. Yeah. That was a huge weight off my my chest, my shoulders. My I parents really always excited. really liked Carlos. I was really excited at that point, you know, just like, felt like everything, yeah. everything was a go, so then then it was just the execution of the moment so thanks to my friend Adam it worked out great and we pulled it off just as how she needed it so for me like knowing he, he like okay so after he proposes he tells me he told me that he asked my dad and that meant the world to me so any guys watching this video if you know her dad is still around and a part of her life make sure you ask her dad to marry her because no matter what people say what no matter what girls say women say it means the world to us to have you know our family's blessing yeah on marriage. it seems a little old-fashioned yeah whatever. It's, not, it's not that will never go out of style it's not uh, it's not something super common in in this day and age but I still feel like it has a, a lot of value yeah and um, it means a lot. So. Yeah. And I knew it, knew it meant a lot to her. I knew it was something that she wanted me to do, and I didn't want to, you know, fall short on that. So. Were you scared? I was. Yeah, I was super nervous about that too. You know, <laughs> it was super. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm not the type to just pop into their house. Yeah, it was nerve wracking, and 
but uh, but you I did, did a good job. Oh, thank you. So I knew I had to do it, and it was worth it. So don't be afraid. You know, just man up, do it, and make your wife proud. Yes. And her family proud too. So it was a very special proposal. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the breakdown. Yeah, it was it was an exciting day and something that we'll remember forever. So yeah. and to share it with all our friends, it was it was really special. So something I wanted to add really quick is that people can portray their relationships to be like picture perfect, Instagram couples goals, and I just wanted to say that life is not perfect. And Carlos and I. We went through a lot of challenges and we overcame a lot of um, challenges for us to get to where we are now. And literally having God as our foundation and Jesus as like the foundation of our relationship is the reason why we're together, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's the reason why we weathered all the storms that we've already been through and just like the structure of marriage that the Bible has. Um, that God has for marriage is like, you know, it's weatherproof um, And I in our in our vows which you're gonna see in the, the next video. I was talking about Matthew 24 I think but it basically just says like that You know when you build your house on the rock you your marriage can weather every storm and uh, I think uh, on social media, you know, people make it seem like they have the most perfect relationship and they never argue and they don't have any problems and life is just like abundance and, you know, prosperity and, and you know, vacations and perfect bodies and perfect pictures. But like none of that is reality, I would say. What do you think? Yeah, it's just not the true representation of like a real a life. real life a real relationship you know there's a lot of struggle yeah behind the scenes people don't ever want to post any of that stuff or you know talk about that they only want to share the good stuff the good side and present like this crispy clean image of the relationship or themselves and you know you don't see what goes goes on behind you know behind the veil so yeah we definitely have had a lot of struggles a lot of growth is what yes. come, has come yes. from those struggles you know both of us individually and together we've both grown a lot in this relationship yeah and yeah it really is just through faith in God and, and mm -hmm. leaning on the word that has solidified us and helped us get through those hard times when you know probably we would have given up if we didn't have that yeah you know that. like if we did it according to the world standards of like you know especially in the new age it's like oh you know if it doesn't serve you then just like dump it mm -hmm. if we lived according to that like you know our relationship yeah a lot of the wouldn't be what follow it is your today. heart follow your intuition yeah. you know that's really that's that's a false that's a false that's belief. False. you got to follow God and what God's Word says and it says you know fight for your relationships yes. forgive each other forgiveness forgiveness is huge don't you know? give the devil a foothold right don't um, go to bed like don't let the sun set on like anger you know. like in a in a argument or something all of those things are legitimate it's like real yeah love each other un stuff. unconditionally you know as impossible yeah. as that may seem you that's just the standard that you have to live by because that's the way Jesus lives loves us he loves us unconditionally no matter what mistakes we make yeah you know he still loves us and that's the way you need to treat your partner and your your spouse yeah. you know whatever shortcomings or or disagreements you have you have to learn to just to just fall back on that love and forgiveness and that's that's what will get you through those tough times mm -hmm. so and I just feel like too like the you know the Bible talks about um, Jesus loves his bride you know his and how the husband is like the head of the marriage but also how like the husband you know Jesus loves the church like a husband loves his bride and Jesus would do anything he even died for you know his bride so uh, uh, being in a lasting relationship requires a lot of sacrifice and that's like the true gritty nitty gritty that people don't post on YouTube or Instagram so just remember that when you are um, watching these videos and especially on Instagram and just um, just know that um, you know if you're a single person right now God just keep praying 
that God will send you, you know, your the, the one that you want, the one that's meant to be for you. And I just, um, you know, just stand on God's word and you will be set. And if, you know, that's one of the first things when we started dating, that was the first question I asked. That's my number one when I was a single person was that, you know, how's your relationship with God? And at that time we were both, I think, um, you know, similar levels. Yeah, we weren't we weren't the the Christians that we are today. We were definitely yeah. led, we're us, babies. led astray in, in, in many different ways. But yeah. uh, we, we knew we had a relationship with God. We knew yeah. that it was important to both of us. And it took some time for us to really like come back and, and find our roots and, mm -hmm. and find that connection and make it to what it is today. But, yeah. um, but how we are now in Christ is like completely different. Like yeah. we've done a 180. Yeah. Um, and if he hadn't said, if he was like, oh no, I don't believe in God, er, yeah, and yeah, I probably, I probably would have been the same way, then like, eh, really? yeah, okay, well, maybe we could date a little that. bit, but uh, probably not. Oh, a this, little bit, like, you just know, dabble I mean, you know, I've already just been like, okay, see you later, out the door, like, here's the check, I'm out, like, no, what am I gonna do that? <laughs> like, here's uh, the check. <laughs> what, what, we were out dinner at something when you asked me that, I think, so. I remember it was on the phone. Was it on the phone? It was when we were first dating, <laughs> and I was like, okay, here's my question. It's make or break it. It's like, do you believe in God? And you were like, yeah, I have, like, you know, a relationship with God. And I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you, yeah. God. Yes! So, so anyway, yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah. It, it all worked out, you know. We, we were yeah, we're definitely babies, but uh, but we've grown yeah. and we're still growing. Yeah. So. And we've learned a lot in this first year of marriage. Like I have personally learned a lot. I'm reading these like awesome marriage books. Um, so if you guys want more content on Christian relationships, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, we're planning on making more videos like that. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching our proposal video and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.